there's two common phrases that you see when talking about the cervical spine. One is cervical myelopathy, the other is cervical radiculopathy. Cervical myelopathy is when the spinal cord itself is getting compressed. This uh, is not necessarily painful, but can cause progressive and lasting neurological deficit, uh, uh, whether in the legs, whether in the hands. Cervical radiculopathy is when the nerves are getting compressed that are coming out of the spine. Uh, this uh, is not as dangerous as cervical myelopathy, uh, and it's often caught much sooner because it's much more painful. When the nerves that are coming out of the spine get compressed, it causes severe pain. Usually that pain is coming into the shoulder and down into the arm and hand. It can also cause numbness or weakness in the arm, hand, or shoulder. This is usually from a disc herniation in the neck or from bony overgrowth, oftentimes, oftentimes called facet hypertrophy. Uh, when this happens, a nerve in the spine can get compressed as it's coming out into the arm and can cause pain and weakness in the arm. Sometimes this will respond to oral steroids or an injection or to physical therapy. Um, other times this requires actual surgical intervention to take the pressure off the nerve and to relieve that pain.